Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. Website builders are popping up all over the place over the last few years, and this one is called Zero, and the company is based in Lithuania. I'm gonna review it in this video and see how it stacks up against the competition. So this is a very simple website and their pricing is simple as well. They do have a free option where you are not able to connect your domain but can use a subdomain um, on their hosting. And there's a basic and unleashed version. So it's pretty simple with just three levels and two paid levels and very cheap um, with the most expensive at 350 and then $2 for the basic. And there's a bunch of features listed here, bandwidth and storage get upgraded. And a lot of this stuff is pretty basic, uh, like Google Analytics, Tag Manager, um, full customization, mobile optimized, lightning fast. There are a few features that are unique with this website builder. One is the AI writer, which I'm gonna test out. And it appears that it will um, write some content for you. Um, so we'll see how that works and I'll go through that in a little bit more detail in this video. Another thing is an AI heat map, which I've never seen on a website builder. Um, I'm sure others have it, but I've not seen it yet. So what this does is it shows where people click on your website utilizing a heat map like this. One other feature which is uh, available on some other popular website builders is a free logo maker. Um, this is free to customers. I'm not sure if it's available in the free version. It's probably listed on here. Yeah, Logo Maker is available to all clients for, for all customers for free who sign up for an account. And I haven't tested it in in depth, but here's kind of how that looks. Uh, looks like you can add text, change the layout, got fonts, colors. It's pretty basic, but could probably whip up a logo pretty quick. So that's a good feature to have in a website builder. So before we get into the website builder interface itself, let's look at the templates real quick. That's obviously important for any website builder because you're gonna be working off of their design templates. So I'm scrolling through some of their templates here. I haven't confirmed how many they have, uh, but there's you know just 10 or 15 right here. So you can preview them right on their website at zero.com. Uh, and they do look simple and modern to me. Um, they almost look too simple. I think one thing that stands out to me is that they're very static, so there's no animation. I don't believe this website builder has animation um, or any movement available on it. And that's a more of a modern aspect of web design. So you'll notice scrolling through here, um, it's, it's a little static. Uh, where you, you might hope to see movement. And just to give you an idea of movement, here's a um, website example using the Divi theme for WordPress. And as you scroll through, you see a lot of movement on the page. Um, so that's definitely a trend in web design. Um, keeps things interesting. And it's just cool in general. So I like to see that with website builders. Most website builders are offering that. And Wix is a popular website builder that's been offering animation for years. So that's one element of the templates with Zero that I'd like to see, um, that not seeing that currently. All right, so if we go into the website builder itself, I did create a site, picked a template, and I started playing around with it. Um, it's a very simple website builder. There's not a lot of features. Sometimes I like that and I think customers will like that as well because it just, when your features are limited, it just simplifies it. Um, some website builders have a ton of features and it can be overwhelming. So you really have to decide if you want simplicity or tons of features. And this one definitely is simple. If I click add elements, there are only five elements I can add, text, button, image, video, and a map. And just to look through the rest of the interface here, I can create pages and organize the main menu. There is the different views here, so I can switch to tablet and um, or mobile and edit the mobile version. There's undo and redo buttons, some settings for the domain. They do offer some integrations with a few different platforms. 
like Google Tag Manager and Analytics, Facebook Pixel and Messenger. And then you can preview the site, publish it. And then on the right here, we just have the AI Writer. Let's go ahead and click on the AI Writer and just see what's uh, how, how that works. So it looks like you click on a topic. So I'll choose small business. Let's just go with coffee shop. Select the paragraph about, hit generate text. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be working. It's kind of jumping around as I click. Let's try that one more time. Okay, so as you can see, I'm having some errors here and the AI writer does not seem to be working. So that's a problem. I'm curious to see how that works. I was thinking maybe it was adding text to the builder, but I'm not seeing any evidence of that. So we'll move on from that. So some website builders are kind of free flow where you can drag things anywhere and some are based on a grid where you can kind of move things into um, boxes or sections. This one's kind of different because it's a mixture of the two. You can move things in a free form kind of way, but there is a small grid as you see by these gray boxes. So I can drag this button element anywhere within this section and it'll kind of snap to this grid and I can resize it. So that is unique. I do like that. Um, it'll be simple for people to use and figure out. So if I were to like copy this button, it's gonna be easy to line them up, resize them, make sure they're the same size if I want, or make one bigger. And then to edit individual elements, I can delete, copy, click edit button. And there's just a few basic elements here like the text, the link, URL, the style, there's only two button styles that I can customize in this layout or in this template. And then some alignment. So it's pretty basic in the settings. Um, some other website builders, you'll click on button settings and you'll get like literally a hundred different settings, which can be overwhelming, but it also gives people the control that they're looking for. You're not gonna get that type of, or that level of control with this website builder, but you get the basic settings and it's very simple to use. I can also edit a section. If I click edit section, it'll edit this whole blue section here. And I can basically add padding. I can change those grid gaps. So if I turn them off, it actually removes the padding between the grid gaps or between the grid boxes. And then I could change the background color. So again, pretty simple. We'll change that back to white, close that. I can add sections. So I would click add section and they have preset sections for each uh, template or it looks like I can add a blank section and then I would just start adding elements to it and place them on the grid. So you can see it's really fast to build a site. The builder itself moves fast, uh, it's very smooth. And you can see I just added a few elements to the page and I can drag them around and then edit them, whether it's a video or an image. You can replace the image, crop it. And I can change the section height here. I haven't found a way to move entire sections. Like if I wanted to rearrange these, that seems like it would be a common feature or a simple feature to add, but I'm not seeing any way to move sections or reorder them. And that's obviously gonna be a problem. If I wanted to move this section up to the top, I'm not sure how I would do it. So that's not super intuitive. Another thing I struggled with is I was trying to figure out where the menu was. A lot of times you'll have a menu up at the top and then you can edit the design of it or the features. Um, so it took me a few seconds to realize I had to first add another page. So if I was to add a new blank page, I could make it the about page. Here I'm able to reorder them if I want. But I'm going to click settings for the page. You can set it as home page, rename it, duplicate it, hide it, edit some basic settings. 
once I did add that page, then the menu got added and I was able to then edit those basic settings for the header. So that wasn't super intuitive at first, but it does give you all the basic elements you need for that menu at the top. So then you can always click preview to preview the site live. Basically looks very much like the builder, but here I'm scrolling through the preview. And that's really all there is to this website builder. Again, it's very simple. Um, so you're not gonna get all the features you would get from Wix, Squarespace, Weebly, some of those other popular website builders that have been around for years. Um, but I would say the benefits of this one are first of all the price again it's really cheap just a few dollars a month for their paid plans and it's really simple the features are so limited that you're definitely not going to be overwhelmed uh, by all the features but there may be some features that you want that you don't have in this website builder and then there was a few issues as you saw in the video clicking around the ai writer wasn't working for me and then that finding the menu wasn't super intuitive Everything else was pretty intuitive and I was able to figure it out. So I'm going to link to my website builder playlist. So you can check out some of my other reviews on website builders and we'll see you on the next video.